Other brands belong to traders. They take all the money from the producers, squeeze them, tell them stories, and sell the tea to consumers. Mixture of tea, they cheat the consumer, exploit the world. Traders, that's their only motive. We are farmers. We own a very large extent of tea plant. Our own workers, we look after them. The children go to university, they are now doctors through the foundation. And we feel good because the money that was making other people rich are now making our country rich. I met Chris Kapas many years ago and I visited here and I found they are very good, they are a good family, family business, just like ours. We are very small, we were very small then. So we said we will give the distribution. He took over the distribution and he has done a very good job. He and his family are involved in the business, just like me. So when a family is involved in a business, their heart is in the business, head is in the business. And that is an example to others who do it just for the money. Now, Klapa's family has done a lot for Dilmati, for our business. Dilma is 32 years old. Kapas and Dilma Association is 30 years old. I always try to get family companies to distribute our tea because their values are different. And I must say, because it was a small market and they were doing a good job, we didn't attach too much attention to the market. But now, we have come here to show the important buyers in retail, food service and customers, and important people, what Dilma is about. Now they have understood today that Dilma is different to all other brands of tea. We care for our customers, consumers, distributors, and share with the poor and our plantation workers. Our plantation workers have benefited enormously from the activities of the foundation. Plantation workers, children are now through the foundation's help and scholarships program for children. They are now doctors, lawyers and professionals because the foundation funds all their education. So I feel good that the people there in the plantation, their families feel very good and encouraged about what I am doing for them. And we can only get better and better as we go on. So that my objective in life is not to keep all the wealth with me. Keep just enough for my family and my business to go on and the rest distribute to the poor and to our employees and generally to the community. And we do a lot in that respect. And I find that because of what we do, Almighty God gives us more and more and more profits and we share that equally. So I find that my business from the very beginning was blessed by God. And his support and blessings for our business, unbelievable. She does everything for me and I feel God is behind us. And I always thank him every morning, every night for what we have. And for teaching me to share that well with the others, with the poor and everybody else. And the activities of the foundation is my reward to God for all He has given me and my family. When we were born or when we came into this world, we didn't have even clothes. As a baby, no, no clothes, nothing you come. When you go back, you only wear one suit. And if you go back, when you, when the final call comes, if half the people are able to say, 
I helped to leave behind a better world. Then there will be no poverty, no suffering, and, and all the disabled people will be attended to. So that, if they do think like that, what a wonderful world it will be. Well, these activities of Dilma, like the Dilma School of Tea, Dilma Food Pairing, Dilma Real High Tea, so many items like that were introduced by us. Dilhan has a remarkable knowledge of tea, which only can God give him. You can't learn all that from books, but his appreciation and knowledge of nature, climate change, sustainability, all that, I don't know where he gets from. That is helping the industry. And we put out every tea under Dilma is the finest you can buy. And because we are a family company, we don't make huge profits, but we give the consumer the best tea product at a very fair price. So, we, what we know about tea, we share with consumers like today, with distributors, with retailers, with hoteliers, including how to make a good cup of tea. So the most important thing about tea, or for that matter, any food and beverage you buy here, if it is packed at origin, if it comes from Greece, if it comes from Egypt, for example, if it comes from Sri Lanka, and it is grown and packaged in that country, then you know the benefits go back to that country. But if it is the tea that comes from England, America, Europe, anywhere they, they don't grow tea, that is a trader's money. So those are traders. So if you, the first step for a consumer is to see where the product comes from. Is it from a tea growing country? In the case of tea, if it is from a tea growing country and packed in that country and marketed, then it's ethical produced tea. But if it comes from a European country, you are only helping the rich to get richer at the expense of the producer, the farmer and their workers. So, if you get an origin packed tea packed in the country where it is grown, you are doing the first thing correct, you are helping that country to help their, themselves. Then, you also know then the tea is much fresher and the quality is good because otherwise, when it goes to England, or to Germany, or Italy, or France, or wherever it is, where they pack and mix and do all that, and when it comes to the supermarket, it can be at least one year old. Whereas if you pack in the country, like we do, Dilma, is packed fresh. Therefore, all the health benefits are intact, fresh. All other big famous colonial, I call them colonial relics of exploitation. Those brand names, they are very old tea, only makes them rich. So, having got tea, in the case of Dilma, as you asked me, it's grown in Sri Lanka. Fresh, when you buy the tea, you are buying the finest and the freshest tea money can buy. Then equally important is the water. You must get fresh water. If you have too much calcium or too much chemicals in your tap water, then bottled water. Bring it to the boil. Every time fresh water, bring it to the boil. Don't reboil water. Then freshly boiled water, pour into a mug or pot containing one tea bag per person or loose leaf tea, one teaspoon, two grams per person. So if three people are there, 
three tea bags or three, two, three spoonfuls of uh, leaf tea into a teapot. Then pour into the teapot freshly boiled water. Keep it in the case of tea bags. After two minutes or one minute, stir the tea so that the, the tea gets, gets evenly mixed. And after three minutes, mix it again, take it and drink. If it is loose leaf tea, stir after two minutes. Brew for five minutes in all. Then in five minutes, stir the tea, pour it out into cups and serve. That's the no sugar, no milk. However, if you want to add milk, don't add powdered milk, but fresh dairy milk, boiled, hot. And if you want to eat it, drink it sweet, take bees honey instead, without sugar. So uh, natural, to protect and preserve natural tea with sugar and milk, use dairy milk, warm, and use bee sun instead of sugar. Then you will really enjoy good health in a cup of tea.